Good morning and welcome to today's Baylor Bulletin. I'm Ray Ruiz. And I'm Courtney Govan. Colin L. Powell was appointed Secretary of State by George W. Bush on January 20th, 2001 after being unanimously confirmed by the U.S. Senate. He served for four years, leaving the position on January 26, 2005. He was the first African American to serve as Secretary of State. Have a vision. Be demanding. Colin Powell. Quick reminders regarding dress code and parking. Students are allowed to park in the football parking lot. But the painted parkings are off limits unless purchased. Students can also park in the tennis court parking lot. You can also park in the Baylor Alley parking lot. Parking spots labeled staff are off limits. Parking on side streets like the ones behind me is off limits. Because we like to keep our neighbors happy. Oh. And able to park in Baylor parking lots, you need this parking permit. Which? You can get from the online student web store and pick it up in the student activities office for free. Remember to take your hat off before walking into class. Hoods are not needed to learn. Jeans are meant to be at your waistline. Belts are helpful. Remember there are consequences to your actions. You don't want to miss out on clubs, dances, and athletics. Valentine's Day is coming up on Monday, February 14th. Today is the last day that Rally Club will be selling Valentine's grams in the quad at lunch. We have $5, $7, and $10 options. Don't miss out on the chance to choose something for, the, for a friend or that special someone, and Rally Club will deliver it to them on Valentine's Day. Don't forget that tomorrow night, Saturday, starting at 6.30 p.m., the Interact Club will be hosting a movie night in the cafeteria with all proceeds going to local service projects. Entrance to the event will cost $2 with gates opening at 6.15 p.m. The event will also have outdoor lawn games and snacks for purchase in the patio area outside of the cafeteria. Do you enjoy Pokemon? Would you like to catch them all? If so, join the Pokemon Club, which meets every Friday at lunch in room 371. Are you looking to gain community service hours for your college scholarships? Would you like to be a part of a club on campus that completes service projects within our community? If so, please join the Interact Club Mondays at lunch in room 371, Miss Bonner's classroom. If you didn't already know, the Culinary 3 Advanced class is dubbed as Baylor Bistro. The students prepare delicious food for the staff and students. This Friday, February 11th, the Culinary room will be showcasing their skills at lunch. All students are welcome to visit room 220 where the Baylor Bistro chefs will be grilling teriyaki chicken skewers. You can enter your student ID number just like you do at the cafeteria line to enjoy this special treat. Limited portions are available so be there first. Mech A will be selling nachos today at the boys soccer game against King City. Ritmo Latino and Last Generation will be performing at the halftime show. Please come and support our boys soccer teams. All seniors are encouraged to stop by Mr. Breen's room, 206, near Baylor Alley during break or lunch on white days this week, Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, to confirm that their senior portrait will be included in this year's yearbook. The photos will be displayed on a poster board for, to, for you to make sure that you're included. Email Mr. Breen if you have any questions. It's time for another restaurant day for our 2021-2022 ASB beneficiary, the Roscoe Frosto family. It is this Friday, February 11th at Salad Works from 10.30 to 8. Please show the flyer seen here, or you can get it from the ASB Instagram or Baylor News Instagram. Thank you for supporting this family in their time of need. Together, we are Baylor Strong. $2 Tuesday is coming up on Tuesday, February 15th. An envelope will be dropped off to every fourth period teacher th that morning, and we're asking that students donate $2 or whatever they can. Everything helps. Let's help the Orozco Frosto family in their time of need. Together, we are Baylor Strong. In honor of Black History Month, the ASB Commissioners of Culture and Climate will be highlighting interesting facts and information about African American leaders from the past and present. Also, check out our Instagram posts on ASB Culture and Climate to see more African Americans that have impacted our world. Here is our, here is our first highlight. Did you know that Jack Johnson became the first African American man to hold the world heavyweight champion boxing title in 1908? He defeated Tommy Burns in Sydney, Australia. He held onto the belt until 1915. He was born in Galveston, Texas to former slaves. He has inspired many boxers past and present. He went through many struggles, but his perseverance continues to motivate us all. 
Today at lunch in the Matson Gym, senior Ryan Ortiz will be having her signing ceremony to acknowledge her commitment to play soccer at the University of North Carolina Greensboro. All students and staff are welcome to attend. Happy, happy FFA Week, Baylors. Today is Dress Up FFA Day, or School Spirit Day. Today's lunch activity will be bathtub races. Make sure to be there. That's it for today's Baylor Bulletin. Thanks for watching, and remember, Go, Go Baylors! Baylors.